the first one immediately stood out as one of our favorites because of the urgency of the subject, and that is children in need, and specifically because of the migration. This was in a refugee camp where this little kid had to wait. Uh, because of the flares of the plastic, it suddenly became something else, but an, a very arresting picture. And uh, yeah, everybody was like, well, this is a winner. Uh, the second one is a beautiful portrait of a miner in Burkina Faso. They work under very difficult, hard circumstances and he has having a small time off and uh, because of the lightning on his own mind lamp it became yeah, a beautiful uh, portrait. The third one uh, was actually one of my favorites uh, because this photographer came up with a plan and he executed, uh, he went to a Syrian refugee camp and he photographed families, uh, mostly women and girls, because mostly the men are missing or are already gone. And uh, he came up with beautiful compositions where he shot the, the group of the family with chairs, which were empty, so you could see immediately it was about the missing persons. Yeah, wonderful. When we went through all the stories, we looked specifically for aesthetically and concept-wise ideas. And the first one was in a series of Chernobyl of a photographer who found or got these old films, color negatives from five kilometers from Chernobyl. He made a story about a girl who was born five months after Chernobyl happened, but already in the womb of her mother, she got so much radiation that her life was after that all of sickness and uh, for her a kind of invisibility. And that's what the photographer wants to express in the pictures. The second story is uh, from a specific region from Spain. Beautiful executed in two years. It, it's about Mayan girls uh, who are quite young, between 7 and 11. They have to sit there for, um, for a, a half a day in a beautiful set, uh, which is made of flowers and trees. And uh, yeah, the outcome is beautiful.